Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can remove columns from a document that you no longer want them in. I'll also show you how to put them on and how to navigate through columns. So on the screen, I've got a blank piece of paper without any columns on at all. I'm just going to put some text on there. So I've got some, I've got some auto text, so I'll just put that on there. So obviously that's going straight across. So by default, Microsoft Word has just one column on a blank piece of paper. But you can change that by going to Layout and then selecting Columns. So I'll put that to 2. So now on the ruler, you can see the column marker. So there's a break between the two columns and there's the column spaces. And if you go to Columns, you've got different options. You can have 3, Left, left, which means this one would be wider than that one. Right would be the other way around. And then you've got more columns where you can do different settings, widen the space in between or column width, whatever you want to do, you can play around with this. But what I want to show you now is how do I get information into this column? Because at the moment, if I keep typing, it's just going down on this side. What you have to do is once you've got information in the first column, you need to put a column break in to move across to the next column and so on and so on. So again, on the layout tab, you've got breaks and the top bit there, column break then he puts it in this side. So I'm now in this column and I can put some more text in there. So I'll just put some more auto text in there, like so. Now, again, I can click between the two now. I've done the break. So I'm on this one, then I'm on that one. But what if I want to stop columns and carry on across the whole page, basically back to one column? If I go up here and go one column, all sorts of weird things have gone on there. Look, so I'll do undo on that, control Z. I don't want to do that. So what you have to do is basically put a, a section break in there. So a continuous section break, not next page, which is from here, breaks, continuous. Now that is a line ac across the page, if you like. And if you want to see that, how that looks, if you go to the view tab and then either draft or outline, either either one, there's a column break and there's a section break continuous. So you can see that on the page, both of those. Then if I go back to print layout, you can't obviously see it here. Now, what you can now do, because this is still set to two columns, if I go to layout, column, back to one. And now if I type some more text in here, or give some more auto text in there, like that, you can see it's across the whole page again. Now if you want to get rid of these altogether, you need to get rid of the breaks. So you need to go back into view, either draft or outline, so you can see the break. So I've clicked on that break, and now I've deleted it, and I'll delete this as well. Click on it, delete, so now the page is back how it was. So that's how you remove column breaks, section breaks, how you can see columns through the view option, draft or outline. So if you've got a document that you need to amend, that's how you do it. All right, so that's all I want to talk about in this little session. Hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.